Now before we get into the video, I'll explain what an enum is by comparing it to an array. Don't worry if you don't understand enums after this explanation, you should be able to understand it when we get into the coding part of the video. Now arrays can store multiple variable types into a list or index, such as strings or integers. Enums on the other hand doesn't store a variable, but gives a name to an index in the list. Now like I said, you should be able to understand it when we get into the coding part. Now that we're in our project, we should create a new enumerator. You can do that by pressing Control space to go to your content browser, then right clicking, go to blueprints, and then enumeration. We usually use the E underscore syntax for enumeration files. We'll just call this E underscore print string. Now you just double click to open it. And now you have your enumeration list open. We should add indexes to the enumerator. So you can do that by just pressing new. And then you have a new index in your list. We'll call this one tall. And then we'll add a new one by pressing new. Call that one medium class. And then we'll add another one called rich. Now, based on what enumerator's index we're on, we can execute different code based on that. You can also move around the indexes or delete them on the side, but we don't have to do that currently. Now you just save your ePrint string, and then you can go to your first person controller, because that's where we're just gonna run test code. You should add a new variable, we'll call this current money status. And the variable type should be of the enum you've created. So it'll be e underscore print string. Awesome. Now you can just drag this out and use a getter. And you see, we want to execute different code based on what this value is. So we'll start by just making a tick function because we want to make this continuously print out in the console. And then, to make code run differently based on what value this enum is, we actually just drag out of here and just make a switch node. Now what's awesome about the switch node is it allows different execution based on what variable or what index this enum is on. So if you go from the event tick, if the current money status is poor, it can execute different code. If it's medium class, it can execute different code, or if it's rich, it can run different code. For testing, we'll just make all of these print a different string. Let's just start by making the poor print string, and we'll make this print I'm poor. Then we'll make one, another one, just by duplicating this. Then make this one. I'm doing okay. And then we'll just duplicate this one and make this one. <laughs> I'm filthy rich. Perfect. Now we can just compile and save. And we can actually go to our current money status and actually check what value we're on. Currently we're on poor. So if we go to run our code, we should see it prints I'm poor on the console repeatedly. Now if we stop that, go to our blueprint again, then switch the current money status to medium class, and then we run it again, we'll see it's printing I'm doing okay. Now if we change that to being rich, and we compile, save, and then press play again, we'll see I'm filthy rich. Now that was a pretty simple explanation what you can do with enums, so I actually prepared a pretty more complex version of what you can do with enums. Now this is actually using a custom enum that I defined earlier. It's called eTutorial enum. And it includes walking, running, crouching, and sliding. And when we look into our running code, we'll see when run is pressed, it will switch to the running state only if we are in the walking state. 
This is to make sure people can't run while they're crouching or sliding. And thus we'll just change the max walk speed. If run is released, it will just make sure they're in a running state, just to make sure that they weren't in another state when they wanted to cancel their running, so they can't instantly switch to walking state based on other states. And then of course we just make their max walk speed 300. Of course we change the value of the current state when we're executing, so when we go from the running node, we'll just make it, um, we're going from the walking node, excuse me, then it will execute the set, the current state to running. And if we go from the running node and we set it, we're going to set to the walking state. Now the sliding feature is a bit more complex, but it's also not that hard to understand, so let's get into it. When crouch is pressed, it will check if the player is running. If the player is running, it's going to make them crouch, and of course run the crouch command on the character. Now, if they're running, that means they're actually going to slide now. So we set the current state to sliding, then set the capsule half height, add a delay, this is the amount of time they slide, and then we set the half height back to the original height. And after the sliding is done, we set them back to the crouching state because they don't want them infinitely sliding around. Then when the crouch key is released, we have to make sure that the player is currently not in a sliding state or state or running state or walking state. So when he's in the crouching state, then we can only allow him to walk. This is about the basic stuff you can really do with enums. Enums are really powerful tools. Of course, there's other ways you can use enums. I like using switch nodes, but you can actually use branches. Then you can do this, get the current money status and run a equal. Make sure you use the equal enum. And if a certain enums value equals a certain choice, then it will execute code, else it will execute other code. Yeah, you can see how we can create some pretty complex code that automatically validates itself so that we don't have to run additional code to revalidate what's going on with the player. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you like the content, please subscribe. Uh, consider hitting that like. If you liked the video, consider hitting dislike if you didn't. And have a good night, everybody.